what's up everybody and uh, this is uh, the probably the last video I might do on Timber Trail Canyon I'm not really sure we'll have to see how everything goes with 19 uh, we may have to jump back over here and do some more videos until some of the modders get some of the good mods uh, you know over to 19 but anyway so what I thought I'd do is uh, just work since we built this landing and everything just kind of do a little work around here at landing number uh, or site number one this landing we built um, and then uh, that's gonna be well obviously this video you're watching uh, Wednesday November 14th <clears throat> and Thursday November 15th uh, which of course if you're watching this uh, when this you know the day this airs will be tomorrow uh, I'm gonna do a, a live stream at approximately 6 p.m. Central Time uh, of uh, the plantation and that'll maybe wrap up the plantation for 17 I'm not really sure like like I said we'll just have to see how 19 goes I may flip-flop between 19 and 17 just until some of the modders start getting some of the mods over for 19 but and then on Friday November 16th I'm gonna be over on Pacific Inlet and uh, that'll be at the normal time 5 p.m. Central and I'm right in the middle of uh, high-speed login number eight getting some gameplay put together so I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with that I mean I, I guess it won't affect anything if I you know don't really do much cutting just kind of do some talking and we, we, we may do a little bit of something and uh, so we'll just sort of count that towards the high-speed login <laughs> um, and then Monday November 19th uh, I'm gonna have a video on Dodson logging that'll just be kind of a look back at my first map and we'll look at that and and maybe do a little work over there too and also on that day Monday November 19th if I was reading the release times correctly I should be getting Farming Simulator 19 available for download around 3 p.m. Central here so I'm gonna try to get that installed just as quick as I can and I might do a live stream if I get everything up and going um, just depends on what time of the the afternoon I get it up and going and you know all that because uh, around here everybody starts hopping on the internet around six or seven o'clock and or actually about seven so uh, my internet uploads not that great because I've got cable uh, but anyway we'll see how that goes and then Tuesday November 20th sometime probably sometime early afternoon I'm gonna do a live stream I've taken off work all the week of Thanksgiving, so Monday the 19th through Friday the 23rd, I'm off. Uh, well, I got Thursday and Friday off anyway. But uh, Tuesday, November 20th, uh, that'll be a live stream. And pay attention to Facebook if you follow me over there because I'll uh, I'll post it over there when I think I'm going to start the live stream, just to kind of be a uh, you know place to let everybody know over there. And let's see, Wednesday, number, November 21st, uh, same thing, Farming Simulator 19 live stream, time to be announced. And then, of course, uh, on Thursday and Friday, like I said, I'm off for Thanksgiving holiday here in the U.S., so no videos on those days, and we'll be back on Monday after Thanksgiving. So, uh, all right, let's get right to it. Let's uh, get a few of these trees, get it up over to the uh, processor. kind of starting off in a bad spot and get this wood chipper out of the way oh it rolled all the way up into there okay never mind we won't worry about that one So in case you're new to the channel or haven't watched much, we built this landing not too long ago. Uh, I wanted to come over here. I, bu I built this little bridge across the creek. You'll see it here in just a second when it comes into view. So I built that little bridge and I wanted to do something over here besides, you know, just having built the bridge and then not do anything. So 
but the problem was none of the terrain over here was flat so I hauled in a bunch of dirt and uh, built us a landing and it uh, turned out pretty good it's still a little bit tight in there but overall it, it I think it works pretty good There's not much room to skid the trees up, though, is the thing. Alright, let's get what we got processed and get them out of the way. So like I said, we're still pretty tight here on this landing, but we'll make it work. And I'm still trying to get the hang of this dangle processor. I normally use the fixed heads. don't think we're gonna have much luck unless we yeah there we go and cut the tree off or process the tree some and swing it around and then we'll have to clean that up later yeah so I've been watching the uh, farming simulator live streams they've been doing the pre-release live streams which uh, I've been a little underwhelmed on I mean, they're supposed to be showing off the game, and they show their faces more than they show the gameplay. So I don't know. I don't. I don't like that. Plus, you know, it's it's farming simulator, not forestry simulator. So they haven't really showed off much of the forestry equipment. Although today on the live stream, uh, well, actually it was yesterday. <laughs> uh, today, I was I was watching it. Uh, yesterday for everybody else. Uh, who's watching this video but anyway I was watching it and they did show off the uh, harvester just a little bit and I didn't like it I mean I don't understand those blue tracks I just don't get those so I'm not sure what they're I mean it, obviously it's modeled after something in real life but I don't know why in the world you would put those hideous light blue tracks on something Try that again. Those big trees, this processor here just doesn't want to uh, oops, doesn't want to handle that too good. Yeah, I'm still, uh, still just, um, you know, really wanting to get my hands on the Giants editor so I can start making a map. Hopefully, when they release the day, the same day they release uh, 
19, they'll go ahead and release the new Giants editor and get busy. It may take a bit, though, to figure out what all is going on that's new. Alright, why is that not cutting? There we go. So we're still really just trying to get started here on this this landing and it's unfortunate that maybe I'll have to not have many more videos on this but I, 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 re I really do suspect that I'll be back on 17. I mean we'll, we'll certainly do some uh, some forestry on 19 on the probably the Ravenwood map I think that's the US map. We'll see how that goes just because it's a US based map although I think it's in California which I'm not, I don't know I guess everybody everybody overseas just thinks that everything's like California I don't know it seems like every map every game that's made by Europeans it seems like they always pick some town in California oh well there'll be, there'll be trees to cut though Yeah, so we'll, we'll probably, I mean, well, there's no probably, it, it will it will be harvester and forwarder operations because there is no American equipment. <laughs> well, I guess I shouldn't say American. There, there is no, like, southern U.S. or what we think of U.S.-style forestry equipment, like this fellow buncher and grapple loaders and things like that. that I guess they just don't have that over there. They do forestry a lot different over there too. They really, really, really manage their forest better over there. And it's different kinds of stuff too. I mean, it's... They, uh... They, it seems like they cut smaller wood, you know, like over here in the U.S. It's all this, this big tree length stuff and over there it seems like all you see is uh, well I mean at least for, for what I can tell is uh, the smaller shorter logs I guess it's easier to handle you know alright so I'm just trying to open this up a little bit more still a few trees that are sort of in the way. And as you can see there, we're a uh, little ways over 600, uh oh, a little ways over 600 subscribers now. So I do appreciate all the new subscribers and helping us get past the uh, the 600 mark. 
we're still trying to get to a thousand so get my videos monetized again and I'm sure everybody's kind of getting tired of hearing this but once I get to a thousand we're gonna start doing uh, just random prize giveaways it's a way of saying thank you and to give back to the loyal subscribers over the past couple of years Looks like we had a log get away from us or something. I don't know what happened there. Grab that one. I, I just cannot get the hang of this dangle processor. Good grief. I may seriously have to go back to the fixed because I'm having lots of problems. And it keeps wanting to grab the wrong tree. I don't understand what's happening there. Oh, that wasn't even a big tree and it slipped right through the grapple. What is up with this thing? Well, my frame rate's not, not good. That's not helping anything. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's all this dirt. Yeah, I don't like how the logs slip up under the tracks of those machines either.
Yeah, I don't understand why I'm getting such terrible frame rates. It's like it's cycling. It goes from 60 down to 15 and then back up to 60. It's weird. Well, I don't understand. I got a pretty decent graphics card. I'm not sure. I got everything on medium too. I don't understand why it's doing that. Oops. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go back to the fixed head on this thing. I don't. I just can't get the hang of this dangle. Yep, that seems about right. I didn't activate the <laughs> didn't activate the other FTR processor. Oh well. All right. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, let's see. Let's get. Let's go ahead and. Uh, well, we can't skip up anything because we don't have anything to process it with. Let's go ahead and cut a bunch more trees down. And uh, then uh, for next time when we come back, if if we make it back to Timber Trail Canyon, I will uh, make sure to activate that processor. Let's see, I'm actually going to put them back over here somewhere. something with that. I probably just accidentally cut it off.
Alright, what happened there? It's not cutting. Oh, there, yeah, that seems about right. <laughs> ah, I hate when it happens. You can't hear it cut, so you don't know if it cut or not. It's the only thing I don't like about this stump grinder fellow buncher. It's nice for removing the stumps, but you never know if the uh, tree cuts or not most of the time. This isn't too bad though, because uh, fellow bunching is actually probably my favorite thing to do in the game, uh, forestry wise. Processing is okay. I really don't like loading trucks because uh, I've gotten a lot better at it, but you definitely gotta be, um, well, I don't know, you gotta be real careful, I guess is a good way to put it you can very quickly dump a load I guess it was more trees over here than I thought I was thinking that there wasn't going to be very many trees to cut, but there's a, there's a good many over here. Well, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I do have a Patreon page. And you can go become a patron over there, and for five dollars a month, what that gets you is uh, insider information on what the, what new maps are coming. I'll pu put up screenshots and videos and announcements and things over there for the patrons. Um, I wanted to do giveaways and stuff, but uh, Patreon contacted me and saw my post about random or or, or uh, monthly giveaways and things like that, and they said oh, you can't do that. So kind of screw that idea. But anyway, so. Um, what I'm going to do is for five dollars a month, if you're a patron over there, I'm going to uh, provide insider information on what maps are coming. Maybe even give you some say in what happens on the maps or what the maps are called or just you know other things like that. So if you um, would like to donate towards the uh, NLA Gaming channel and uh, want some insider information on upcoming maps and things, uh, then go become a patron for five bucks a month will get you access to that. I would appreciate it and it would help support the channel. Uh, right now, as of this recording, I have three Patreons. And uh, if any of you guys are watching, uh, just know that when Farming Simulator 19 and get my hands on Giants Editor, I'm going to start making some maps right away. I mean, almost immediately. And um, I do have uh, some good ideas for some new maps. And uh, at least for the first couple, I'll be just using my ideas, you know. But what I like to do is, like I said, sometime in, in the future, start having, you know, some some uh, user input, some fan input on uh, what the maps are called or what what happens on the maps, you know, whether it's a sawmill or a town or whatever. 
course, of course, there'll be a sawmill, but I mean, you know, there's other objects in the map itself. What the layout might be. Would you like to see a town? Would you like to see particular kinds of roads or terrain or, you know, just anything like that? So, if that interests you, then, uh, or if you, like I say, if you just want to help the channel, because uh, uh, this stuff isn't free. I've, uh, I've put a little bit of money into this. I mean, not a whole lot. I mean, a lot of the stuff has been free, like, you know, the recording software and the producing, well, actually not the producing, but the, the recording software, OBS is what I use, and OBS is free, but the record, or the producing software where I actually make the videos, that's, I forget how much I paid for that, like 80, 90 bucks, something. And, uh, of course, then there's the dual joysticks. I had to, uh, I did have one from a long time ago where I was doing some flight sim stuff and whatever, just, you know, for fun back in the early to mid-90s, kind of back in there. So it was an older one. It, it finally bit the dust. And uh, I bought a, a used one, used joystick off eBay, and it, it worked fine for a while, but it was sort of flaky to begin with. So I went ahead and uh, bought a... Um, Logitech Extreme 3D Pro, and that's been a good one. I've enjoyed having this one, but then I needed a left-hand stick because uh, the other one I was using, the used one, it was uh, more of an ambidextrous one, so I was using it as the left joystick, and it finally went out. Just got tired of fooling with it, so I bought a, uh, see this one's, my left one is a Thrustmaster, I think it's a T16000M, and it's got the little grip where you can uh, change it from right hand to left hand so right now it's my left hand and it's a super nice joystick but it was, it was a little, little bit more expensive I think there's about 60 bucks whereas this Logitech one you can get those uh, either online or in Best Buy or something like that for uh, about $35 you know and I had a hard drive go out so just just all sorts of things and I upgraded my video card it was needed needed an update pretty bad So just a lot of stuff goes into it behind the scenes, you know. And if, you know, a few things I already had, like the microphone and, of course, the computer and all that. But if you would like to donate towards the the channel, you can go over there to Patreon, check that out. Uh, you can see some of my posts I've got up there, um, and you can message me on there and you know, all kinds of stuff. I am going to continue on with Pacific Inlet over on, uh, well, on, on Farming Simulator 17 once 19 comes out. We'll still be doing the high-speed logging because I would really would like to see, you know, how many loads of logs it takes to cut down that entire map. And, of course, we're not going to cut down the whole map. There's sort of certain areas uh, around, like, ponds and, and things that we're going to uh, leave. And probably most of the swampy areas, we're going to leave those on. I'm not going to cut all those down. So, not every tree is going to get cut, but a good majority of them are.
right, so how far have we got? No, we're, we're getting, uh, doing pretty good. Uh, you can probably see not far from where we're at, it'll start to get a little steep. The terrain kind of steps up over there, so we'll probably cut back and go back towards the landing at that point. And I really hate that I didn't get further along on this map. Uh, we kind of got stuck on site number three and then decided to build a bridge over here to site number one because there wasn't really a good way to get over here. So we did that and then got hung up on uh, creating a landing and then of course, you know, just sort of got a late start on the map anyway. I mean, well, I guess I shouldn't say late start. It, uh, I think I played it not too long after it came out, but just with it being released so late in the uh, Farming Simulator 17 uh, game that didn't get much play time on this. That's alright though. Because, like I suspect, we'll probably be back on 17 just for a little bit anyway. At least for, you know, every, every, every so often we'll come back over here and play a little bit. That'd be kind of a good comparison too to see exactly what's changed in 19. Alright, come on. Get off of there. I got too close. That's another thing I need is foot pedals. I haven't used my game controller to drive the machines around. It sure would be nice to have foot pedals to use for the track machines. That'll be next on my list. Oops. Yeah. Well, I sure wish giants would figure out a way to make these trees more flexible. It's got to be the game engine. If they just had a little bit of give to them, it sure would be better. Oh, did it again. Hey, when that happens. Yeah, and if you haven't liked us over on Facebook yet, go like us over there because uh, I'll be putting up a post every once in a while about upcoming live streams and other announcements. Uh, I do have a discussion tab now on my YouTube YouTube channel, so you can go check that out. And uh, I'll try to put some stuff up there too. I, I got the upcoming schedule up there already for this next week. Well, the remainder of this week and next week. You can go see what all's coming up on the YouTube channel.
got to be getting close now to some steeper terrain. I can see some rocks up ahead, so we're just about there to the uh, terrain change. It's going to start to get real steep over here. And then we'll cut back towards the landing. So I do not want to navigate on that steep terrain. Yeah, there's actually a lot more trees in here than I, than I thought. That's one tough stump right there. There it goes. Alright, well I think what I'm going to do is just sort of pre-skid these trees up into a, another area. Kind of get them out of the way. And then we'll have to, uh, like I said, go get us a processor. So I think I'm just going to drop them off right there, and uh, then when we get us a processor, we'll go ahead and move them on down the hill.
I'm just gonna go ahead and chip up some of these small trees. I don't really care nothing about those things. We're full. Have to get us a chip truck up here and get this thing unloaded. And make a few, um, few wood chip cells, deliveries. And we're just about out of time for today. Let me get this uh, wood chipper parked down here somewhere out of the way and then. Uh, that's just about going to do it for today. Alright, so like I said, uh, stay tuned for the live streams that will be coming up. Uh, that'll be, let's see, that'll, that's going to be Thursday around 6 p.m. Central Time. Is when I'll start that and probably go for maybe an hour, hour and a half, two hours. We'll see. Uh, and then, uh, let's see, f uh, Monday, November 19th, I'll be doing another live stream. As soon as I get Farming Simulator 19 up and going, uh, hopefully that'll be pretty soon. I'm hoping around 4 or 5 p.m. Um, let's see. And then on Tuesday, November 20th, and Wednesday, no November 21st, I'll be doing live streams again those days of uh, Farming Simulator 19. So stay tuned for that. Go check us out on Facebook if you want to stay up to the date on all that kind of information. I'll post everything over there when I know uh, more certain when I'm going to be going online for the live streams. And if you just want to, you know, like us in general, I'll put... Um, uh, screenshots up over there. I'll put uh, video announcements, other announcements. Uh, sometimes I well haven't had much luck with polls because Facebook only allows two uh, two guesses, I guess, or two choices on your polls. So I haven't really had much luck with that. But I don't know why they don't do more. Anyway, that's going to do it today for Timber Trail Canyon. And uh, like I said, I suspect we'll be back over here on Farming Simulator 17. Uh, at least for a few more videos until some of the modders start getting some good forestry equipment uh, over for 19. So uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video today, and we will see you again on, th well, tomorrow, on Thursday, uh, for the live stream at 6 p.m. Central Time. So check that out. And uh, yeah, until then, we'll see you. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.